What's going on y'all? We're out here today reviewing the Bixby J2 outboard motor. I just picked this up from Hammerhead Kayaks and uh, I'm pretty excited to, uh, to do a review on it and see what the speed is on my Hobie Lynx. Hobie Lynx is one of the lightest kayaks on the market so I'm hoping to get some pretty high speeds out of this thing right here. But first let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about the motor. So if you purchase the J2 Bixby outboard kit what you're going to get in your package you're going to get a battery kit now this battery does float uh it is super light and then also in the front of that i'll show you a little bit later on but um it gives you a battery monitor so you can see um how low your battery is or how much battery you have left so you got that out of your battery pack comes with your cord extended out to your motor i have this rigged up to drop in my in my um, my drive well but if you don't have a pedal drive kayak, they make all sorts of attachments for you to be able to put this off the side of your kayak, off the back of your kayak, or probably even off the front if you wanted to. So if you don't have a pedal drive kayak, that's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, we got the battery, we got the motor. It also comes with a wireless 12 speed remote that can attach to your wrist right there. If you want to attach it anywhere, maybe you have an H rail on your kayak or whatever, you can sit there, attach that to the side of your seat. Little Velcro deal right there, but that is a 12 speed uh, remote. The motor does have forward and reverse capabilities. So it comes with your remote and then it also comes with your key, which is also your kill switch. So you got the kill switch right here. All you're gonna do, you see the little power button, I put that magnet right there. And as you see, it tells me how much I have on my battery. So I have full power right there. And then I got a little loop. I can stick that around my wrist if I want to, but I like to fish as I'm moving around. So I can put that around my ankle. If I were to fall off my kayak, it's gonna pull the magnet, kill the motor so my kayak doesn't just keep on running down the water. Uh, so pretty neat right there, comes with a kill switch. So all in all, I mean, just first impressions as far as the weight, the battery and motor combined, pretty much which is all the weight of this, is lighter than just the battery alone that powers my motor guide XI3 trolling motor that y'all have seen in the past. So it is an extremely light setup, like that is an extremely loud train that's just <laughs> sitting over there blowing up this video. But anyways, we're gonna keep on moving on. So got the battery, got the motor, it is, half of the weight of the um, 120 amp hour battery that powers my other trolling motor. Now this entire kit is gonna run you $11.99, um, which if you've looked at kayak motors, that is, that's a pretty affordable price. Um, my motor got XI3 trolling motor, ran me around $3,000 with the battery, the motor, the mounts, and everything that goes in to be able to run that, right? This kit comes with everything you need for $11.99. I feel like that is a pretty affordable price. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and put this thing together. We're gonna hop on the water. I'm gonna show you the speeds, talk about the range, and get after it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take our battery right here. Now for me, I'm just gonna shove this right under my seat right here and so got my battery right there i'm not going to strap it down or anything like that now the battery i don't know if i told y'all but the battery floats so if you flip your battery is going to float so you don't really have to worry about you losing your battery and it's sinking off to the bottom it's also attached to your cord right there your power cord so i'm going to put my battery under my seat but if you had a crate back here you could put your battery in your crate if you don't have a crate you can strap it down with your bungees if you want it in the front you can strap your battery down in the front right there so a lot of options for you to do with your battery uh we're just going to leave it right there or go ahead and put our key in place run this through my seat so i'm just going to put that around my ankle we get on the water and for now, I'm just gonna put my remote around my wrist, see how that feels. Once I get out there, I might take it off, do some other stuff. Once again, this also floats, all right? So pretty much everything here floats, even your key floats because you got that little piece of foam right there. So uh, if you flip, you don't have to worry about losing a lot of this stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and drag this thing down to the water and see what it does.
And y'all, I know my paddles are upside down. I just needed it to push off. I know somebody in the comments can be like, man, that guy don't even know how to use his paddle. Rudder down, good to go, rudder's working. Go ahead and put my kill switch around my ankle. All right, go ahead and drop our motor in place. All right, here we go. Got it set on like power mode three right there. Just cruising around. So if I wanted to fish a bank or whatever, this would probably be a little too fast. I'd ease it down right there. Got like these lily pads out there. I can go out there, fish around, keep it at just a slow moving pace. But then if I wanted to kick it up, got 12 different modes on there and we're off this feels pretty doggone quick right here y'all look at that i mean this this kayak is moving right now holy cow All right, well, so while we're easing down the river right here, talk a little bit about the range of this motor. Um, so at its lowest speed, Bixby is saying that the battery has 12 hours of range. So if you were just trolling around fishing banks, easing all day, you could easily get a full day's worth of fishing out of the battery. Now, kicked up like I have it right now at speed 12, uh, Bixby is saying that you get 80 minutes, so just shy of an hour and a half of running. So if you're sitting here running from spot to spot, fishing in between, you can probably, I'm just assuming, you can probably expect to get four to six hours of life out of your battery. Now, with that being said, the battery has a gauge on it. So if I'm ever out on the water and I'm curious to know how much battery do I have left? Do I have enough to get back to the ramp? Do I need to gear it down? What do I need to do to make sure I got enough to get home, right? You can always pull your battery, check it, see if you're halfway full, see if you're still at the top or almost drained at the bottom. So that is an awesome feature, just being able to check your battery levels. All right, so we got my speedometer out right now and it looks like we're cruising right there at four miles per hour. So not bad not bad at all that is faster than i would be able to move if i was in a full stroke on my on my pedal drive kayak uh it, at full stride in this kayak i can get it to four in a sprint but i can't sustain it um basically if i'm trying to move from location to location i'm typically moving about two and a half to three miles per hour so in this kayak with the bixby i'm able to move an extra mile per hour uh, getting from location to location. But once again, that is gonna drain your battery, so you'll probably wanna gear it down. But it does create a very relaxing ride, right? I'm just chilling right now. I really don't have to do anything. Just sitting here, cruising at four miles per hour. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and whip my rudder around, see how this thing turns at full speed. On a dime, I'm actually kinda concerned I might flip. Look at that. So overall, I give this motor two thumbs up. If y'all are looking to get a Bixby, uh, Hammerhead Kayaks in Theodore, Alabama is a distributor of them. So check him out. Be sure to go on there uh, and, and get one of these motors from him. Uh, but overall, I mean, just the, the weight of it, the cost is $11.99. I know that that's still uh, it, it, a lot of money, but if you're looking at putting a motor on your kayak, that is one of the more affordable options. And with the weight reduction, the speed, everything that you're getting, I feel like it is an insane amount of value uh, for your money. So yeah, uh, if y'all enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment with any questions, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.